going everybody happy hump day haven't seen you guys in a minute it's been busy I uh, hope you guys are doing great it's um, it's Wednesday and um, yeah we had a busy week last week I had shows at the basement um, uh, Wednesday and Thursday night, which were really fun. 
Uh, I think there's some videos people have been posting. Guthrie and Tom came down, Ryan Warner, Alyssa Bonagura. Um, you know, we had some acoustic music, some singer-songwriter moments. We had instrumental music. It was super fun. I haven't played the basement in years. And then we're going to rehearse this weekend. And we're going to go up to uh, the Bitter End in New York to do three nights at the Bitter End. It's just going to be super fun. Um, yeah, it's, it's a busy season getting into, um, <clears throat> you know, the end of the year and um, people seem to be scrambling before the holidays <laughs> to get things done, getting last minute calls. Tomorrow I'm going to go <clears throat> play on a, a soundtrack thing for uh, Ricky Skaggs, which is, that's a dream come true for me. Um, you know, grew up listening to Ricky and his country records in Australia and, um, you know, have long admired uh, Ricky's records since that's really cool. Um, so I'm going to go <clears throat> do that tomorrow. Today, I'm just kind of getting warmed up. I've got to do some overdubs at home here and um, um, what else is going on? Um, there's tons going on. Uh, I should make a list. Always helps to have a list. <laughs> helps me. Talking about figuring out how to get over to Australia next year to play some shows, which would be really fun. Um, I've always wanted to play the Adelaide Guitar Festival. Uh, so maybe that'll happen. I don't know. Um, I'm on the third round of small improvements on this <coughs> Les Paul. First thing I did, well, <coughs> you guys know I got, it, I got it refretted, which really helped to make it a contender. And then um, this headstock was all messed up. Somebody had tried to sand the headstock. So Nick at Glazers did a beautiful job refinishing and restoring that headstock veneer. And then I put these nice clues on tuners on it. The tuners on it were those janky metal button tuners, which I hate. Um, so these feel really nice. I'm still kind of battling with this bridge pickup situation. I'm trying, this is an early 70s mini humbucker. Well, it's a Firebird pickup, which is a little bit different than a mini humbucker. Um, it's not bad. It's totally, it's not really setting my world on fire like uh, like this neck pickup does. some stuff but it's not quite what I want in this guitar so um, Ron Ellis is winding me a, a nice um, one of his Ellie Sonic pickups into a P90 fit so I can uh, I can try that he was telling me that um, back in the day Les Paul uh, wanted to put DM on pickups in his Gibson guitars. Did you guys know that? I didn't know that. But I could see why he would love those pickups. Because they were so 
you know, they're so like hi-fi, sort of, you know, clear and like high output. Um, I could see him being into that. Anyway, he said they, those early diamonds were wound with polysol wire, which I don't know much about, but there you go. <laughs> you want to get down the rabbit hole. I do love certain old Diamond pickups, I'll tell you that. In fact, the guy I idolized in Australia, session guy growing up listening to, is a guy called Mark Punch, who I've mentioned before has the greatest sounding Gretsch roundup guitar on the planet. And it has an old set of uh, Diamonds in it. It's one of those mahogany body Diamonds, not the pine body. Uh, roundups, that is, sorry. Uh, a mahogany body roundup. I begged him to will it to me. Anyway, um, let's see. I'm not sure if there's been any other real questions, but I hope you guys are doing great. And um, I was messing around on the couch the other day. You know, I'm always trying to find those really simple little country ear twisters to put in to my real, you know, uh, booger eating, chicken picking country stuff that I like to do. So here's one for you. That's one I found. If you play a, let's say we're in the key of G. You play an um, D augmented chord. If you play it backwards and you play it really staccato. And it works going to the four too. <laughs> Gotta work on getting those uh, half note bends in tune. If you can get them, it really sounds good. I'm just bending the E up a whole step. You could do something like that too. simple one for you. Slide it into your country repertoire. Um, I think that's it for today. I'm gonna get to work. And um, thanks for tuning in. I see people are still buying the Lost Tapes and West from Bandcamp. There's a link below if you want to check those out. There's a new record coming in the spring produced by Rodney Crowell that I'm excited about. Um, John Hyatt's on there and uh, me and Rodney, Corey Chisel, all kinds of good friends and amazing musicians. Um, yeah, have a great Wednesday. I'll see you guys soon.